One week ago, Astrons had saved the world by pushing back a meteor. But little did he know that not everything was as it seemed. Okay, so I mean, that was easy. I don't know what the big deal was. They told me to proceed with caution and make sure that I had the antivirus. Bro, what are what are they talking about? Whatever, bro. Nothing can stop me. What the hell? Huh? Where am I? Is this still Astro Earth? Huh? Wait. Who am I? All right, so what is going on, everyone? It has been a minute since we have made another reaction video. Today, we are reacting to the Alpha Rad. I attempted my first Pokemon Nuzlocke video. Very excited for this because I always love seeing people's first attempts on Pokemon Nuzlocke as someone who's done multiple, many, many painful and horrible nuzlocks i could always just you know see the kind of things that other people went through going through their own pain and it's always just a really fun time for everybody ain't it all right it's pain all around yay uh, but i do have to apologize for the inconsistency in uploads as you can tell we have gotten a fantastic fabulous art upgrade from the wonderful sleepy zen and now i can finally show a little bit more expression in my character so i hope you guys are happy with that but before we begin the video, really quickly, can you drop a like for your boy, please, as a massive comeback? That would mean a lot. Also, be sure to subscribe if you are new. And don't forget to put those notifications on. Because when an Ashron's video goes live, you gotta stop, drop, get your snacks, and what? What do you gotta do? Enjoy. But y'all can't tell me that intro was kinda fire, right? Right? Why are you booing me? Okay, whatever. Anyways, this video is actually uh, rated M, I guess you could say. There's going to be a lot of swearing. Not for me, but I'm pretty sure Alpha Rad swears a lot. So be prepared for that. If you can't handle swearing or you're too young, definitely just click off. But I mean, hey, still show support for your boy. Nice. <laughs> but anyways, let's start. I'm hyped. Let's go into this. This video is rated M for mature. Or uh, like... If you're mature or something, you can't watch. I, I don't really know. I mean, you're going to watch it anyways, aren't you? All right, so let us begin this. Let's Believe not waste not, any time. I've never actually done a Pokemon Nuzlocke before. I was oh. always more concerned with making friends out of these adorable little creatures instead of, you know, forcing them into the fatal crusade of war. If you don't... I see we've been living two different lives, Alpha Rad. Uh, it's well-esteemed and established gentleman like myself finds no more pleasant enjoyment than befriending my fellow companions and having them face each other off to the death. Honestly, it's just a human nature on me. It's like gladiators, but with animals. Okay. I don't know, a Nuzlocke is the best way to turn this stupid baby game into a masochist wet dream. The rules are true. simple. You can only catch the first Pokemon you encounter in each area, and if a Pokemon faints, that's it. They're dead. Fade to black Skyrim. Now, there are some additional rules I've added, but the most messed up one is that the Nuzlocke forces you to give a nickname to each and every Pokemon you catch, forcing an emotional attachment to them all. So when Butterfree dies, you just murdered Jeremy, and that blood is on your hands. If yeah. your entire team whites out, uh, that's it. The run just dies like Jeremy's family. So, with everything in place for this to go horribly, it was finally time to embark on that our journey. That was dark. And um, <laughs> if you like the video, please subscribe because it helps out a lot. Thank you. Yeah, what he said. Also, follow my socials, Twitter and Twitch, down below. Yeah, trying to grow those. <laughs> Personally, I thought a fitting choice for my first Nuzlocke would be Pokemon Fire Red. As That's it's fair. one of the few versions <laughs> that has the Kanto region. For my starter, I selected none other than Funko Pop the Bulbasaur. Simply Ooh. because... Oh, Bulbasaur is an amazing starter. I say this every time that I, we react to a video uh, where they start in Kanto. Uh, actually, this might be the first one, but whenever I watch videos like these, typically, uh, I'm like, yo, Bulbasaur is probably the best starter. It's really good, very versatile. Uh, it goes crazy against the first two gyms, even with the psychic stab. Like it's, it, it can still do work against her uh, Missy's other mons. Uh, Bulbasaur is awesome. Good bulk, gets status ailments, gets leech seed, gets really solid stab, has very solid stats. 
Um, what, what's the worst that could happen, right? Nobody in my chat wanted him, and and I felt bad. I mean, <laughs> which unfortunately puts our Your rival chat was sabotaged Luigi you. in an advantageous position with his Charmander. Nevertheless, Funko Pop should prevail as the Nuzlocke has only just begun. No crit. I'm so scared of getting a He's crit a in the first battle because I just sound. Oh no. <laughs> So let me tell you the story of my second Pokemon Nuzlocke. Okay, so I mean, I, maybe he just didn't want to do this rule and he already knew about it. Um, but it's kind of like a well-established base rule for Nuzlocke's, like especially throughout the Pokemon, like the PokeTuber community, where until you get the Pokeballs, like your mom doesn't really die until you get your first Pokeball. So Funko Pop would have been alive through the rival battle. It's more like insurance. Uh, to make sure when you fight your rival, since most of the time you can't really control the rival advantage, it's just uh, it's just insurance. So hey, if my Bulbasaur dies, um, it's fine until I get Pokeballs. But I think Alpha Rod just didn't want to do that. That might be kind of annoying dealing with that Charmander though. Um, but it's fine. I mean, I understand. This time we went with Funko Pop with less confidence, <laughs> which unfortunately puts our rival Luigi 2 in an advantageous position. Despite all odds, we made it through to the first five minutes of our Nuzlocke. And just like that, our perilous journey has officially begun. Again, all right. and for real this time. Let's go. We acquired Professor Oak's balls and then embarked into the wilderness to catch our very first Donkey Kong. The next Pokemon in our sight Wait, was a Mickey who lowered Funko Pop's health um, to one. Bro, but don't throw- the run has only just begun, you know? So <laughs> what do we have to lose? And if you can't tell by now, these are the risks I take. I can already see it, yo. I can already see it. This is gonna be, this is gonna be crazy. <laughs> this is gonna be crazy. This man really risked it all right there. Oh no, Alpha Rab, bro. What, what else are you going to do? This is what do? the rest of the run is going to look like, and oh, I will no. not apologize for it. So after collecting a new friend named Wii Sports and trekking through the forest of useless Pokemon, Ooh. we were ready to tackle our very first gym, Pikachu which we nice. were already underleveled for. What? Which <laughs> is, is not great, but um, that's what makes it exciting. On the next route, I was presented with a potential Nidoqueen on a silver Ooh, a platter. Potential? All I needed to do was throw another Pokeball. Don't uh, hit it, bro. You're five levels above it. Please tell me he doesn't hit it, bro. Kill. No, no, please. It sure is screaming, though. Look, look he's ha No, bro, th th that's it yawning, bro. It's having a good time. It just took a nice nap. Best day of its life. It got like three random rare candies off the floor. It's, it's, ha it's having a great but, time. Like, please don't scratch it. No, no, just throw a pussy? Pokeball. No, dog. Just throw a Pokeball. You can take the there damage. You go. <laughs> Kids, let this be a lesson in toxic masculinity. It's better to be called a pussy than a serial murderer. Man, man, I redeemed my crippling insecurities by purchasing an investment called Magikarp, who was named after my favorite movie of all time, Spy Kids 3. That's so Beyond random. Mount Moon, we saw a glimpse of the second gym and their leader, Misty, who is coincidentally weak to Funko Pops, as most Good. humans naturally are. I wasn't prepared for that battle just yet, so I grinded for about an hour an before hour? throwing with Luigi 2 yet again. And, wow. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm still underleveled and fighting a Pidgeotto with a Mankey. Oh, we're faster! Well, Mankey's we're crazy. Faster. Yeah. That's a fact. <laughs> Yo, listen. Mankey is like one of the best Pokemon ever. Like that, that is not even me joking. And like Kanto, at least. Uh, Primeape and Mankey, they go crazy. They're actually really fast and they hit really hard. And they get some pretty solid moveset. Like a, a pretty solid moveset. Um... I already know this thing's gonna die, and I and I really don't want to see it. <laughs> I'm already going to an attachment. Trust me, this run never gets easier to watch, since the method oh, to the no. madness is nothing larger than a blind ambition, like how an underleveled Mankey sweeps the entirety of Luigi 2's team. After freeing Bill from his weird fetish shit, we get yeah, away uh, to Misty's gym. Uh, like, honestly, we honestly, bro. <laughs> Bill, we gotta talk. We gotta talk about why you were experimenting trying to be inside a Pokemon, dog. I'm just saying, yo. That's all I'm Funko saying. Pop solo this one as he sleeps and sweeps. At this moment in time, I realized, wow, 
This is easy. Oh, no. There's no. absolutely no way that I could be humbled by this game. Oh, Might as well no. head straight towards the third gym, you know? And on that path, we found the daycare. Who could look is he about to use daycare running strats? Please tell me he's not going to use daycare running strats. Sure, a magic card per se. And Why is his team so low? Actually, no, nah, that is pretty good, actually. 20, 22, 17. Yeah, okay. I guess he didn't skip too many battles. He's just having a hard time. Do you really need to train up spy kids right now, though? I mean, I guess it could help you for... um the the what's it called the rival battle upcoming but i don't know bro carlos may be the better bet because you need as much power as you can for uh, lieutenant and surge i learned that every singular step you take results in one xp for the pokemon in oh the lord game. how so, long is he gonna let run me introduce you to my own new form of grinding oh my god ah gyarados not as well how unexpected I forgot that we had to go on a funny boat before the gym, but luckily we were able to pick up a Diglett named Lava Girl along the way, as this is the perfect time for everything that Boomer War Vet stood for. Aboard the SSN, our little Ooh, trainer broke into everyone's peaceful little rooms and turned witnesses into victims. We managed Damn. to conquer foe after foe until locking eyes over yet another fateful encounter with Luigi 2. The atmosphere felt familiar, but there was a new sense of bloodlust in the air. This time, Luigi 2 no. wasn't going down alone. Oh my god! The rest of the battle was a success, but how could anyone say that in good faith knowing about the events that- It's been five minutes! I grew an attachment to Mankey in like three minutes, and he's already dead. Then again, this is like probably like 20, 30, 25-ish hours of gameplay reduced to a mere 25 minutes, so it was definitely longer than it was alive, but I'm still hurt. I'm, I'm still hurt. I wanted to make it to make it to the end, man. Transpired. I learned a tragic lesson that sometimes death is inevitable, <laughs> but but this one felt preventable. A general so could lose dark. an entire army, <laughs> but you would always remember the first soldier to fall. And in honor of Mankey, I will never let such a foolish mistake happen again. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. I will never let such a foolish mistake happen oh, again. Hey, look, it's my now. theme. They literally put Big Lick Cave right next to the electric gym so you could walk out like a champion. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> we lost two heavy hitters, and Donkey Kong is still at level seven. Training yeah. it is. So. Yup. <laughs> I want like to say that I'm confident about this gym, but I have recently been humbled by the cold hands of death. Lieutenant Sir lost Pokemon. two Pokemon right at the start, which is something I can sadly Ooh, relate Donkey to. Kong crazy. And it's pretty ironic to lose Mankey to eradicate, only to use an evolved Donkey Kong to. <clears throat> oh. Oh. oh okay. Well, it's dead. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Oh my I gosh. find it equal parts interesting and concerning. How you had a whole fuck go pop. Okay. Okay. Biggest issue I'm noticing. Is it he is relying way too much on everybody except for Ivysaur? Ivysaur is like crazy good against Raichu. I don't I don't think he limited himself from potions either. Just send that thing out, bro. Go for a lychee, go for a poison or sleep powder. That Raichu would have been dead in five turns. <laughs> that, that Raichu gets kind of walled by Ivysaur. So Alpha Rad, bro, you gotta use Funko Pop more. As you said, everyone's weakness is Funko Pop. This mom is, this mom is crazy good. Pretty become to the freezing embrace that is known as death. So after defeating Surge with an incredibly hyped leech seed, we collected yeah, our third gym like you and <laughs> had our first existential crisis. Oh, the whole Nuzlocke challenge. Is he on set or? Ooh, I don't know what kind of battle mode he's in. Either way, no. Right. Um, I think there's a very free switch into Raichu. But again, it's his first Nuzlocke. He's not a Pokemon player. He's just having a good time but playing this. So. so much more doable. Uh, a mere two minutes ago in the story, but team kind of fire though. Right now and now we can only go up. That's not true, is it? We continued <laughs> this unfortunate journey through Rock Tunnel and only barely made it out alive. This entire run has turned into nothing more but a castle of sand, simply fearing the inevitable tides of. Uh, another poor decision. Well, we caught a Growlithe named Ooh, Hot Dog and found an Eevee named Transformer, so that's pretty cool. We happened to catch Hot Dog right next to Celadon, which just so happened to sell evolutionary stones. Ooh, and as our Hot Dog though? became a hotter dog, I learned that Arcanine, as cool as he is, doesn't learn a single move through leveling. Hot oh no. 
That's the oldest mistake in the book. Everybody's done this. Don't lie to me. When you get that Growlithe, when you get that Vulpix, whatever it may be, you evolve it as soon as you get access to the stone. You're like, yes, I get to get this Fuego Mon early on. And then it's like, wait, shoot. It can't learn crap. And then it's already been too late. You've already committed. You've already evolved it. You've already saved the game. So now you got to live through your faults and stick with Ember until like level 75 or till never because you find out that stone evolutions don't get any more moves from level up. Um, yeah, honestly, I'm ashamed to admit that this that only happened to me once, but definitely a few dozen times. <laughs> I don't blame him. Been a great tool, but signature moves like Flamethrower were now off the table. Yeah. So I went online to see if I could find a TM for this move anyway. No, don't do and Casino. it was only available in the Celadon Game Corner for 4 No! Points. Please don't tell me he actually did this. It's fine. I'll look the other way. Just cheat him in, dog. Please. So naturally... I took matters into my own no. hands. No! No! <laughs> Yo! Woo! Three <laughs> hours later, and I have officially fixed one mistake. I know I'm not doing a good job of painting myself as smart or competent, but I think I've at least revealed myself as ambitious or adaptive. That's which are true. Very easy traits to pick up when you constantly make the worst fucking decisions. <laughs> so before we went into the fourth gym, I had a moment to reflect and recognize that flying types are super effective against grass types because at this point you can never be too sure. After collecting the damn fourth gym badge, yeah, you that should have been easy. Yep. Pokemon. This weird spinoff plot point is. Really I mean, Erica loses to his entire team. Gyarados, like it doesn't really do anything, but it, it, it's a good switch in um funko pop i got that lychee strap wait no not the lychee strap but it can sit there it should have sludge bomb by now um so sludge bomb should be good enough and then arcanine may oh no he got flamethrower for arcanine so arcanine and pidgeotto will just destroy her Here so introduce us to that's Giovanni, all you need the baddest bad guy in the game who doesn't really know how to play the game on to the next plot point i True, found it very Giovanni ironic that within the pokemon tower you find luigi 2 mourning the death of his beloved Raticate, as if that little bastard didn't deserve to rot in hell yeah One battle deserved. Later, he ran into a wild <laughs> ghastly who i admittedly Ooh. nicknamed in poor taste that's oh the that's so screwed up Hey, but make he lives on though. Yes, sir. So That's so fucked up. How did you never ghost off of the name of a dead Pokemon? So oh my god. god. That's so fucked. <clears throat> One dead mom joke. <laughs> One dead Jesus mom joke. Later, we've reached the top of Pokemon Tower. Awesome. I guess we can leave now. With Saffron City opening up, it gives us access to the Fighting Gojo, Sabrina's Gym, and another Team Rocket raid. So naturally, we went and caught a Snorlax, because e everything else just sounded scary at the time. Catching Yoshi opened up the path to head southbound towards Fuchsia Town, but okay. on the way there, Funko Pop became even funkier, and we made hey, an unfunny joke. After oh my gosh. For a while, we were still underleveled, to nobody's surprise. And Oh, Ray so he, he did gym. just completely skip Sabrina. I'm surprised he didn't at least try to get his fighting mom, but I guess he doesn't need it, so... Oh well. Oh no. Oh no. There's no way. No. no. Oh, no. Stop. Oh, we ate that up. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. That wasn't that bad, but this is definitely a leave the gym. Yeah, no, no. Oh, we're leaving the gym after this. Heal, 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 heal. I, I mean, Team Rocket. No. Um, yeah, ma yeah, maybe you, maybe you should play the game in linear effect. This is, I don't think you're ready for that yet. <laughs> to go fight the bad guys and receive a free Lapras. Cool. Which knows Parish song? And oh no. I, I don't know if that's the best move for a Nuzlocke. After battling be countless fine. Grounds, we make it to the end of this labyrinth, only to be met with Giovanni again. We open the battle with none other than our golden child, Spy Kids 3. Everything he throws at this Gyarados is nothing short of an obstacle. That art is fire! That's fuego! Look at the detail! Ooh, look at the craftsmanship! I can really see the Gyarados-ness in his face. Well designed for a champion, but as his tense changes from present to past, Spy Kids 3 no. with Giovanni's no. vicious no. rival. No! No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. No! 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 Oh, oh, three. <gasps> no! Spike oh, it's not Spike it's three. I'm hurt. I'm hurting. Death never gets easier. Oh, this it is getting only grow sad. More familiar. As one soldier falls, another oh. will always take this place. As this bloody cycle will never cease to continue. Lapras can attempt to fill the Gyarados size hole in my heart, but nobody can replace what Spike is 3 means to me. <laughs> Upon entering Koga's gym, okay, we Spike carry is fire, a slightly though. different energy. One that has been hardened by war and burdened by memories. 
Koga did everything in his power to not get swept by the new heart of our team, but not nah. even being overleveled was enough for this wheezing to be exempt from a dying breath. Damn, With another hot dog crazy. badge acquired, the next stop for our bloodlust was none other than the illustrious Sabrina of Saffron City. And I'll let the game. This dude going through his anime globe right now. He lost his friend along the way, and that was enough to give him the confidence to destroy everyone in his path. That's the kind. That's the kind of. That's the, that's the kind of road we're taking. Wait, we're not even halfway yet. Oh lordy, what's about to happen, Place Alpha? For itself. Oh hold up, hold up. This is scary. This is scary. Oh no. Oh shit. No, no. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh shit. <sighs> And before like huge. Okay, we're we're subbing out real quick. Do not do not okay. let it all in like this. Oh my god. Oh, no! oh my gosh. What the fuck? Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. He's No no no. This is worth it. This is. Worth... Oh shit. He's so strong. He is so strong right oh, now. Oh no. my god. Oh, my god. He has plus three special defense. Plus three? The whole run could end right here. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No hot dog. Okay. Everything's okay. Every no future sight. Oh no. I already see. I already see where this is. I already see where this is going, bro. Oh no. Alpha, I know you can't hear me, dog. But remember these words. Never forget about future sight. Okay? You may think you're safe. It may be on red HP. And you may have that one move that kills in the situation. Never forget about future sight. Oh, 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 no. oh, I like that. I like that. Oh, I like Chat that. like that. Yeah, we like that. Wait, is this her last mod? Not the full heal. Full heal. Oh, no, Aurora no, no, no. would be nice. Oh, my God. Oh, please. No. Come on, hot dog. Come on. Why does she have a full heal? Oh. Oh, oh no, he's plus three. <laughs> no, 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 hot dog. No, no hot dog. No. No. Virus, I'm sorry. We, no. <laughs> you gotta perish, son. Oh, oh. <laughs> for the greater good, dude. For the greater good. No. <laughs> it's the only it's way out of here. No, no. no. future no. son. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, there's no way Alkazam's not faster. We can try it, but I don't know. It might. He might call mine. He might call mine again. Choke. Oh. That's fine. Oh, That's mine. fine. <laughs> no. <laughs> this so, is intense. All right. For the greater good of the run. Oh no. Okay, so we no matter so what, it's over. But now we gotta take into equation how many moms you had to lose along the way. It's okay, we can just buff my health. Come oh on. No. For the team, for the team. Come on, just just take take one hit. I don't know, you're 10 levels under. There's no way. <laughs> oh my god, Iris, no! <laughs> Goodbye. Yoshi, you got this, bro. You're 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 a thick oh boy. My god, Yo! Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, this is a special defense tank, and this still goes down but like that. But future sight, where is it? No! No! <laughs> I thought we were safe. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm witnessing a historic moment right now. You are. Everything has gone awful. Oh god. Okay. Dig. Okay. Dig. You gotta be faster. Yeah, yeah. Let's I'm, go. I'm out. I'm out. The stall. The stall. What the fuck is happening? <gasps> oh, everything. I just saw fucking what? Wii Sports die. What the fuck? <laughs> bye bye. Oh, Parents oh, can't oh, see oh, That was we horrible. Made we made it out. Oh my god, dude. Literally everything went wrong in like three seconds for me. Everything went wrong. It was the Alakazam. <laughs> the sleep paralysis demon. Oh my god. We made it out though. We have officially reached the lowest point of the run. <sighs> Our only saving grace was a sacrifice. I'm aware of the mistakes that I made to end up here, but I also made a carefully calculated decision at the cost of Fyrus the Lapras to protect the integrity of the run. Once that Alakazam reached a point of Nirvana through spamming Calm Mind, all we could possibly do was pray for an escape. Our... I mean, honestly, as bad as that was, he did get lucky that Serena choked. Because that um, future sight on the Parish song was crucial 
to uh, her victory. If she just kept clicking psychic, it was over. I mean, there was nothing he could have done, but by believing in his friends, everything was possible. Okay, I'll shut up. Okay, okay. crew has been silenced to nothing more than a pair. And now it's up to Funko Pop and Transformer to lead a skeleton team to we an got unforeseen this. victory. Funko Pop, but crazy. No matter what may happen going Wait. forward, this. He already fought Koga. He fought the. Oh frick! His next gym is against Blade. Oh no! You better hope these next encounters are good, bro. This entire run is in a heavy debt to the memory of Fyrus the Lapras. Harish Song was the only open path in this devil's maze. So now our only goal was to focus on the future and leave this battlefield as nothing more than a memory. Days late. Oh God, he's not for a whole month and like a quarter. It took me quarter. 40 whole days to find the confidence to continue this disgraced run. I know that I Don't can't put the blame on the game or my team for it is my solemn duty as a trainer to guide them. And as soon as I yeah, accepted play that, that one piece music. I realized that my title has not wavered over these past 40 days. My job is to finish what I've started and lead the remainder of my team to victory as it's what they would have wanted. So I collected a new team from the ashes of what Ooh. I once called a family. Okay, this seems kind of solid. Funko All right. Former hardened by echoes of the past, our new <laughs> recruits were ready to help out in any way they could. Clam Slam. Glam Slam. Phoenix. And Mr. Bustdown. Mr. Bustdown. This Bust was all we had left. Our final gambit. As this disaster of a journey was coming to a close, our next stop was none other than Cinnabar Island. Here we go. We pulled up on the Pokemon Mansion to catch a Nightmare? coughing name, mm. coughing, and that was <laughs> it. And then Cinnabar's gym offered an awesome quiz. All right, Josh, I have a question for you. All right. There are nine certified Pokemon League badges. No, there's eight. Then Blaine said the funny <laughs> thing before hitting 15 fire blasts in a row, which... <laughs> no. Oh no. I think you could just easily dig and... Uh, well, Transformer, I don't think that's please. correct, Brayden. I think every time you've given me advice, it's been wrong. Brayden, it's please send me the advice, advice is right. Yeah, I can't calculate these things. I think he lives crit, with crit, just crit, a little crit, bit. Crit, 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 crit. Oh, no. Brayden, if Jolteon dies, it's your fault. No. Oh. Jolteon dies. Brayden. Wait. Brayden, bro. I'm waiting. Still waiting. There's a chance. Brayden, what the fuck? Did I let that <laughs> Jolteon die? Perhaps. But this one Ugh. was to prove that I can never trust advice from stream chat, the wiki, YouTube comments, or even my own friends. How much you about he's going still going to do mistake, it? <laughs> it better be my own mistake. And it definitely better be a larger mistake than I trusted one of my dearest friends. This wasn't too hard of a gym, but I really just monologued post time skip about how these two Pokemon were leading my team only to let one die as a, a prank. What is wrong with me? You would think at this point that I'm done taking completely worthless risks, but I, I am unhinged. <laughs> I simply do not care anymore. If this He's lost run is to succeed, it's because it was written in the stars. I will do what feels right in the moment, and after collecting a seventh gym badge, <laughs> what we felt in right was building up a third of my team for the third time. Smart. The game then guided us to the Sevi Islands, and with Clam Slam getting their Clam Slam, we needed a new water Ayo? Pokemon. If anything, we needed a savior. I spelled it wrong. The right? Savoir. I really, hope, I really hope the typo made it through. You know what? That's fine. The also, Savoir. I'm now realizing that I spent three hours grinding to get Flamethrower for a hot dog in the casino just for him to perish to Sabrina's Alakazam. That's true, but, but it did do some work. The casino does have a lot of other good TMs. Destiny. Ice Beam, Flamethrower, Shadow Ball, Thunderbolt, and Thunderbolt again. This was a successful casino raid and half of my Tuesday, but I'm not going to equip the TMs just yet. I'm going to wait until we hit the Elite Four, so... You don't you know, waste them. <laughs> something unfortunate doesn't happen. The only thing in our path now was the Viridian Gym, which we had to challenge we got the Funko for Pop, though. Gym badge. The Savoir has officially joined our team as yeah. well as Coffin the Weezing, and for some reason this one knows Explosion, uh -oh. and given how effective Parish Song was, we'll use it when the time's right. Oh, anyway, no. <laughs> it's five seconds later, and we've officially collected all the gym badges this world has to offer. So at long last, it was time for our final act. We started walking towards Victory Road, only to be greeted by Luigi 2's bloody hands. This 
was truly our last obstacle before our end game. Even though we came out unscathed, it was a wake up call to our second and third string team. We do not cover enough typings. We have nothing against flying, nothing against psychic, nothing against ice, nothing against electric, and yeah, nothing we got plot against armor. dragon, except this one TM sitting in our bag. This was the point of the run where I really started to feel the sins crawling on my back. The careless amount of graves I dug have come back to bite me as this team simply does not have the answers needed to become champions. Despite yeah, we got Funko Pop, it's fine. We could still go to Zapdos' home of the power plant and find Goku, our little Magnemite. Goku. Who happened to find two other Magnemite friends through grinding. With this new catch, we replaced Bird Up and set out to catch one last Pokemon in Victory Road, which we might as well use a Master oh, okay. for. <laughs> when we reached the other side of the cave, I handed out everyone's TMs to those who I felt could use them best. Before tackling the Elite Four, I studied the wiki and the trainers ahead in desperate hopes of finding any chance of survival. I elected a Pokemon okay, or two per this. trainer and then admitted that when it came to the champion that is Luigi 2, I tried my best. Yeah. I had a decent enough plan, but what it really came down to was if Coughing was ready to make a decision when the no. time called for it. With a heavy heart burdened by my own mistakes, my team of six Pokemon and their stupid fucking idiot trainer <laughs> marched into the end of their plateau <laughs> as this was our first and final chance to come out as champions as this Pokemon Nuzlocke was about to end one way or another. Damn. Oh, Lorelai, hey, what's up? <laughs> Luigi. The first name on our hit list was none other than Lorelei the Ooh, Ice Tamer. Luckily, most Ice types are also Water types in this game, which is perfect for our young upstart. Goku. And not even they that. Nah, Lorelei really is just basically a water leader. Like, yeah, that's true. Most Ice types are Water types, but she has just pure Water types as well. Well, not pure Water, but she got like Slow Bros and stuff. I'm like, why do you have these? Everything in their path, even when they only had seven HP remaining. With Jinx being the only non-Water type, it was time to switch Goku out. We tried a few options, but this is the lamest piece of shit I've ever seen. <laughs> I just kept getting frozen, kept getting put to sleep, kept getting frozen oh, again, no. and then being told to deal with it. Despite switching multiple times, I had a relatively loud voice in my ear to switch out to Onyx. I insisted that Onyx is weak to ice, but Don't. this person who will go unnamed told just me that I was ball. wrong and that an earthquake was the right play to or kill Flint Jinx. Or whatever, it this matter. Onyx may be our only answer to Luigi Chu's Charizard, but I was feeling frustrated. Don't in the moment of weakness, I listened to someone's advice that wasn't my own. No. So Oh yeah, that's why I was gonna say no, give the quick claw. What are you doing? Because, Ice is uh, special in this game, game isn't it? Claw and then have not even. It doesn't even matter. Say, what like, did I say? <laughs> fuck! What did I Brandon, say? I stop! Study. Jesus Christ! I'm never listening to you ever. <laughs> that's what she said last time. Ever. <laughs> Literally never. Not once has your advice <laughs> never helped me. <laughs> Well, we got a, we got a pretty no. bad Mewtwo there. Despite all odds, and I mean a lot of odds, we managed to make it to Bruno with only a singular Pokemon missing, which is definitely more than I'd like, but here we are, having a great time. Learning from past experiences, if you have a psychic type who spams Calm Mind, you can really just do anything. Our Phoenix stood tall in the face of Onyx and thought oh, really hard Bruno, for casting a mental hellstorm over everything that Bruno Yo, loved. Destroy him. I'm not gonna lie. It felt good. Yeah, when it, it always Agatha, feels good to sleep in E4 member. But she's like really just a, a poison? I yeah, think, she ah, is a poison leader. We didn't leader. really have an answer. Ghost type is physical in this generation for some reason, so we just threw out the tank that is coughing who happened to know Shadow Ball. When it came Smart. to Arbok, it would have been the perfect time to use a move <laughs> like Earthquake, but you know, sometimes life has other plans. Surprisingly enough, our team is doing pretty well. Lance foolishly stood before us with an army of dragons against one tiny polyrath who happened to know yeah, ice get him beam. Savoir. It was an effective strategy, but Dragonite is also really scary. He's quad weak to ice beam, but his flying type moves put him in an advantage for some reason over our beloved Savoir. If I kept her for an additional turn, we would be Coffin. missing probably the only remaining answer we have for the imminent Charizard. But before I could even think about that, I had no, to simply move out of this it, you dude. No. With my whole team in a panic oh, state, oh, I knew mind. what I had to do. So I sent out coughing one last time damn oh he blowing up pause with luigi 2 standing before wait what did he say us, we wait, hold, on, hold on hold on wait i probably could have used magnum with luigi 2 standing before us i don't know what he us, said there we were moments away from the curtains falling 
This was our final battle, our final chance for victory, but more importantly, our final chance of redemption for all the stupid fucking decisions I've made. So Luigi 2 opened this fateful battle with Pidgeot, which was a bad decision Come me how that man. for him. I think he got a little pissed after that one, so he just went ahead and sent out his strongest Pokemon next. Knowing that Goku was nothing more than a piece of steel begging to be melted, we just tossed out Savara, hoping that she could live up to her name somehow. Yeah, you just yeah, said Savoir. It was a gruesome battle as the ace in our sleeve was one unfortunate crit away from losing the entire run for us all. It's always in moments like this where the worst possible outcomes become the reality. Well, Savoir is so crazy built like that. I challenged fate. Exactly. Can the other Pokemon do it? No. <laughs> but he's not going to crit. Yeah, he's not going to crit. What did I say? What did I say? Charizard Great. Was absolutely the ace in his sleeve, but somehow we got lucky. As an enemy Alakazam yes, the battlefield, go! so did post-traumatic stress. Luckily, this Alakazam did not know Calm Mind, and even more luckily, Phoenix did. We literally just sat here while Luigi 2 handed yes. us plus six special attack Hypno, and it made me feel invincible. And perhaps a little bit arrogant. It lived. Okay. No, oh, no, bold. Alpha! Bold. You coward. You're a coward. Okay, well, we were oh. very confident in that plus six Hypno. Yeah, we were ready to sacrifice it. <laughs> sure enough, Goku is Goku here to right alive, all though. the wrongs I create yet again. Luigi 2 then sent out his right on who was stanced up as if it was time to give our starter his Finally after 25 minutes Funko Pop now has its screen time now kidding I mean Funko Pop had a little bit of screen first time moment in the spotlight in over 40 days <sighs> and to my surprise this felt doable literally everything leading up to this moment would suggest otherwise but here we are with a lone executor standing in our path damn Imagine if we had a Pokemon who knew flamethrower. So with one <laughs> final Hail Mary to throw, Funko oh, I forgot Pop was sleep put into sleep types. so Savoir could do what she does best and save the entire Yeah, run. wait, you can sleep out her grass types in this game. That makes Funko Pop even better. Yes, no, it's fine. we have speed him. We win. Uh, yeah, there's no way. We win Woo! again. Woo! <laughs> my very first Nuzlocke, over. despite having Brayden in the call, I still won. <laughs> and just Bro. like that, I have completed my first, no, second Nuzlocke, and god damn it, do I feel proud. I took the high road so many times, especially when it was absolutely the wrong decision to make. Yet here I am, dancing <laughs> oh, on Luigi 2's no. grave. While also Why paying arms respect the to the countless jobs we've created for this cemetery. Oh man. So yeah, that went better than expected. And hey, you know what? I'd love to do it again. But my doctor said because of my very poor heart, this amount of stress <laughs> could kill me uh... if I ever did it again. So feel free to subscribe because as you know, I'm known for making very poor decisions. Oh, 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 there you go. Oh, oh other reactor. Oh, 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 oh wait, hold on. Okay, so if you enjoyed, you already know what to do. Thank you guys so much for making it to this point in the video. Uh, that was really fun. There, guys, there's a lot of swearing in that. Uh, let me know if you guys are fine with kind of content like that. I don't mind reacting to things that are a little bit more mature. Uh, I just want to see the, re the feedback on this kind of stuff. Let me know. Uh, but yeah, that was crazy. That was crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I, my feelings in that whole thing were up, down, left, and right. Alpha did some crazy plays and definitely not the good kind. <laughs> but at the end of the day, it was all good and fun in the end, was it not? All right, I'm gonna head out now. Peace. Oh wait, yeah, subscribe please. Okay, bye.